Oh, we finally got something to hang the tomatoes on. We have a wee tomato right there. I think there's an oh yep, yeah, there's another one over there. They're coming. I love you. <laughs> Slowly, but they're coming. And there's the squash. Unfortunately, there's not a squash in that, though. We put the sawdust stuff down. Supposedly, it's supposed to help them. We'll see how that goes. They definitely perked up better over the last... <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's a bug. It's a bug. Ew. It's a bug. Bury yourself with the joke, buddy. What is that? I think it's a potato bug. Is it? I think. I don't know. If y'all saw that, let us know what kind of bug that is. Ew, I touched it. Is it good for gardens? I don't know. We'll just out. Let us know. I'm a city boy, so I don't I don't know about bugs other than to squash them with my sandal. <laughs> I also transplanted some more, or uh, <coughs> started some more squash, so we're transplanting today. I know it's super late in the, the gardening season, but I couldn't help myself. So. Here we are. We're just hoping something grows. This is the first year of trying, so. We don't care what it is as long as it grows. Well, other than weeds, we don't want weeds to grow. Oh yeah. We had to deal with that. Our, our lawn was like at least a good foot high, it was like two days ago. See all that stuff over there? That's piles of weeds and stuff. Lots of stuff. And that's the dog. He is peeing. And then back here, I don't know if y'all can see. It's kind of bright. After we clear all of that good stuff out eventually we want to get a little goat and other stuff but i think a goat is going to be the main thing to go back there it cut out but okay yeah a goat will go back there hopefully we really want to learn how to make like the um was it the goat's milk soaps and stuff like that and I don't know, maybe I'll actually try it. I don't know. Back to putting more squash in. My leftover toolbox stuff oh my became a gardening no. thing. What happened? It's full of ants. Oh no. I know. Ants. Yeah. But yeah. We're the broke gardeners. We got 99 cent shovels, reused yeah. baggy. That's, it works. It does what it needs to do. And down there, even though all this stuff looks like weeds, 
It's not That's like garlic. It's garlic. I'm hoping that it. Just some fresh more sawdust around everything that we just uh, transplanted. Just like how the crockers have a uh, have the the hay around it to prevent for weeds and rain damage, so to say. That's kind of why we got the the sawdust too and. Yeah, especially considering yeah. we are actually in Canton, which is where that tornado hit. And for some reason, it decides it wants to storm and do the most every week, even though it's supposed to be going in the summer. <clears throat> There's our sunflowers that got attacked. We have wild rabbits out here, and unfortunately... I might have to go hunting for them. I don't know. But anyway, we'll go back to the area I was talking about for the goat. This is that area. It's actually cleared out a little bit more than what it was. Uh, it has a little trough thingy. All that good stuff. But back here is where the little barn is. Or whatever you consider it to be called. Not entirely sure. I think it's considered to be a barn. Let me know what it's considered, I guess. But, as you can see, it has a little water bucket and all that stuff. It was supposed to be for a horse back in the day, I guess. But, <clears throat> we're hoping to maybe fence off the bottom a little bit better. Um, so they have a shelter and put goats back here and then they can eat all this stuff we're gonna cut it down so they can walk around but as it grows back <clears throat> we'll have the goats to handle it the next year after we kind of learn a little bit better about gardening this back area back here is where we're what is that It's a what? Do y'all hear that thing? What kind of bird is that? That's an interesting bird. I hope it's not a squirrel getting eaten. Okay, so anyway. So we'll head back here. This, uh, that's going to have to be higher six foot three and that thing is not going to work for me but anyway this back here next year we plan to just go full board and just clear all this stuff out um till it up and make a big garden we're starting back there for now just so it's closer to the house a little bit <clears throat> on top of that we don't know much about all this stuff yet so we're just learning with a small setup first. But and then this is Mr. Evans setup with corn, I believe that is. Right there. And we got some squash going on back that way. No, on more tomatoes. He, he does a little bit better job with tomatoes than we do. We're learning. Uh, and then that, that's actually the property line, I guess. And that side of the fence is yonder. She finally got rubber boots. She's they, super excited. They're so fabu. The trident and garden and sandals wasn't necessarily the greatest thing, especially considering, I mean, y'all can see how high that is. That's how high the rest of the grass was. And um, the unholy amount of fire ants. So right now. Mismatched gloves on. Oh yeah. 
You want to tell them what we're doing right now, baby? put in there this is going to be the living room of the new quail house the living room for the new quail house yeah the living room speak up yeah it's going to be real luxurious as you can see <laughs> it's got grass carpet grass carpet <laughs> yeah oh yeah and a spider that won't die. For hey man, some reason. that's a snack. Just frizz it out like some hair. I'm assuming. Right? So that's gonna be the living room. Right there. That's where we'll put their little bottle and food supply. Alright. And the other side I'm assuming is the nesting side. So we're gonna put sawdust in there. That's what we have. These mosquitoes are bad. They lay eggs in the thought that. Hey, do you want to use one of those buckets as a scooper? Uh, I'll get you one right now. This bucket. Ah. Good. I think a full one of those might might be good. Nice. No. Ordered all the pieces and put it all together. <clears throat> what? Two days ago? Yep. Some of that sort. I think it was two days ago. I'll put another bucket in there. Just for good measure. That's it's halfway painted because she doesn't <laughs> like the fact that the wood is like an orange color. I don't like that it's like an orange yellow color. I started to spray paint it with a spray can that was already here and it ran out after like a quarter of the front so we have to get some more spray paint. So their house is still under construction apparently? Yes, definitely still under construction. It has to be decorated correctly. It has to be pretty for them. Pretty-ish. I mean look how ugly that yellow color is. It looks so much better white. Yeah. No, it's not tall enough because the, their little center divider is not Okay. I need more grass to handle sawdust. I'll grab a handful of grass if you get sawdust. Actually, here, let me grab a bucket and I'll put grass in it. Maybe a bucket that doesn't have. Oh, never mind, he beat me to it. <laughs> You're dual wielding mixed mask gloves and dual wielding grass and sawdust? Yeah. I'm just that bad ass. Apparently. Then we'll just replace the grass with all our lawn clippings every time they poo. Okay. Yep. Alright. Yep. Watch me kill the spider with my hand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to get them? Let's do this. Y'all want to see how many fly away doing this? I hope not. Wait, should we put the lid back on and then just use the door? I think so. Would it be easier? Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. I mean, if they do get out, I guess we have a extra special video of us trying to run around and catch them for y'all. Sound like fun, baby? Not really. <laughs> Are you gonna scoop them, or do you want me to scoop them? You ready? I think I should scoop them. You think you should scoop them? Yeah. 
Or we can take turns scooping. What? <laughs> Go ahead. You first. Well, I'm bringing the whole situation over there. All right, then bring them. Yeah. We moved them uh, there, what? When did we move them there? Last night? Yeah, it started to rain a little bit. Yeah, we thought it was going to be another storm, so we tucked them in the cubby. Because I didn't want to stick them in their new coop yet until I had it finished, but the tenants get to move in early, so. Yeah, but we thought there was going to be another huge storm last night, so we moved them in the cubby. But today's the day where they get to move into their new home, guys. Where's their door at? You got them? All right, we got this. Y'all ready? As y'all know, we did name the quail. They're all named with the letter J, so it's Jason, Jaylena, Jared, Johnny, June, and Jax. I believe in you, baby. You got this. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Why don't you use take your gloves little, off? Little guy first. I think the gloves might scare him, Mikey. Just don't let him out. I assume. I, maybe you should just let me do it. Here. Oh no. Got this. Uh, are you sure? No, but. Uh. No, they're gonna go out, Mike. I got this. I shall be the quail master. <clears throat> Eventually. Yeah. Okay, we'll try to use your body to block the door then. Okay, guys. Come here. Which one y'all going? Just reach. I don't know how good this is gonna go, guys. Just, just, just grab it, Mike. There you go, buddy. Oh, there you go. All right, we did it, guys. One down. One down. Okay. I think one of them just freshly poo pooed. You gotta be quick, gotcha. honey. Gotcha. Oh no! Come on. Come here. Come here, little buddies. Uh, come on. They don't want me to pick them up. Because uh, I think it's your gloves, honey. Do you want me to do it? I will figure this out. Yeah, well, I want to catch two, so um, leave me two. Oh! Okay. Got him! Okay. Woo. These little buggers are fast. They're hard enough catching inside this little cage. Don't. Oh my god. <laughs> you got him. Yay, Mike! Got you, little buddy. No worries. Don't let the other ones out. Here. Okay. Now I got. Now I gotta get all the little brown ones. These ones have been avoiding me. I think the brown ones are faster than the white I feel ones. Like the brown ones are bigger. They are a little bit bigger. Are they? I think so. Okay. Well, one of those white ones looks really big. <laughs> yeah, got it. Okay. Ready? One. Okay. Throw them in. Y'all are okay. Two more, guys. Two more. Come here. One, two. Woo! From in. All right. They don't One like more. Being held. Yeah, just trap him in the corner. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Come here. Okay. Okay, you got him. One. Got him. Two. Three. Yay! We did it. Surprisingly, that was harder than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Are you okay? We did it. I like you guys so much, but I don't know why you're so mean to me. I think they like it. And then they got this area in here. The bedroom and the living room, right? Do you want to throw their food bowl in, baby? Yeah. And then set up their water. 
Uh oh. Here, you're gonna have to undo that. Well, today is a uh, catch and release into the the pen of for the coil. I think they're confused. All, all I'm saying is, I feed you guys. All right. You feed you them, so they should be nice to me. Thing. Just saying. Okay. I think they like it. I'm gonna concur with that statement. There's your hat. Okay. And will it work? Will Since it work? they already got fed today, we're not gonna um, put anything in their bowl right now. But they'll get fed later tonight. Huh? They like it. It's got plenty of airflow. This props up too, but I don't know about doing that. They love that sawdust. You hear them in there scratching? I'm hoping they lay eggs there. Yeah, we're hoping they uh, start laying and get more comfortable in their house and stuff. But what's the golden rule, honey? If they I don't will, lay. Them. <laughs> if they don't lay. Especially after that. We're good. Oh, I already stuck it in. Oh, did you? Yeah. I stuck it by the door so it's easy to feed them. Well, did you have fun with the quail catching, uh, catching gear or whatever you want to call it? <laughs> it Alright. Yeah. Well. All I'm saying is, I understand that y'all wanted to name them after the crackers. And she named them already so I can't change it, but. You see, I just don't feel right about it. Cause it, what if what if we have to end up eating the crackers? Yeah, I don't want to eat Jared. You know. Oh, so you're saying Jared's your favorite? Well, I wouldn't want to eat the other two neither. But <laughs> I mean, oh gosh, I'm just saying it just seems kind of odd to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, you you can do like, we'll name one taco. Um, <laughs> you know, maybe another one we'll we'll name barbecue. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! I'd even be okay with naming one rosemary or something like that. You know, <laughs> but just naming them after people that we know. I I just now it's gonna be just awkward. You know, so, we're staring them down, and it's like you haven't laid eggs in this many days. You know, it's time. And it ends up being one of those three, and I'm just like, it has to happen. <laughs> it just does. Oh my gosh. You know, that's why I just feel awkward about it. So thank you guys for making this awkward for me. <laughs> I don't well, know what we're going to do in the future. Hopefully it turns into our... We might, we might reuse it for... Uh, yeah, well, rabbits. Our next, our next venture will be meat rabbits. We don't know when, but probably in the next couple months. Well, is that all for today's video, babe? You think uh, so? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, the quail got a new house, guys. The garden got a much-needed weeding and uh, sawdusting, I guess you could say. Yeah. And a much-needed trellis. So, uh... <laughs> hit like <laughs> subscribe thank you for following us in our our journey and um being patient with us this week hasn't been nice on trying to upload and and edit but um we'd like to get to know you guys uh tell us what state you're from and what's a, a goal of yours so leave that in the comments and yeah and if y'all have any suggestions by all means let us know. Yeah, any advice. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> or at least I don't. I, I, kinda, I didn't grow up on no farm. <laughs> I yeah. kind of know what I'm doing. Not everything. But if you guys ever have any advice or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Just even if you think it's, it's mean, just leave it in the comments. We appreciate it. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all have a nice day.